Amen. crowded. We're just lucky there were any supplies at the store. Did you see that lady? You know the one that was all hunkered over the dried fruit table? Oh man, anything were strange. Scary. You know, I had an aunt that looked a lot like her. Let's see. What was her name? Aunt Lucille? No, Bethel? Bethan? Beth? Come on, Josh. Stay with us there, buddy. We gotta get back to camp. I don't want us running to Uzi and the rest of his little band of criminals. Sit together, everybody, especially you, Jesse. Of all the times to be wandering off, this is definitely not it. 
Jesse, where's Jesse? Y'all seen Jesse? Well, she was here a minute ago. Spread out. We gotta find her. I'm fast. I think we just did. Let me go, you big bully. Let me go, you big bully. What's the matter, kid? You scared? I'm not as scared of you or nobody. Well, maybe you should be. You're a long way from home, you know. Let her go, Uzi. Well, looky here. If it isn't old Shepherd Ruth and the rest of the outlaws, I thought I smelled something. What do you think you're doing here? You better be just passing through. Now that ain't none of your business. You got just as much right as you. As I recall, in Bethlehem, shepherd kids aren't welcome. So if you tie ya in a hidey hole, go back to where you came from. Since you insist on making fun instead of conversation, it comes to mind, it takes a brain. I guess yours went on vacation. Let's make it clear who we are and end this back and forth. It's obvious that you are wrong and we are right, of course. You think you're so much better than us. You haven't got a clue. It's about time you realize you're not the chosen few. It's getting past your bedtime, kid. You really just stop stalling. What's that I hear out yonder? <laughs> Why is your mama calling? Oh yeah, that's good, that's mighty funny. Well, one great big smile. But then what can we expect from one who just ain't got no style? Let's make it clear who we are. And end this back in the years that you are wrong. Joseph, I don't know where I got this donkey from, but it's starting to get on my nerves. What? Moi? Yeah, moi. I mean you. Hang in there, honey. I think we're finally here. I'll just get a couple of our bags and... Ooh. <sighs> what is he doing? I'm not real sure, but Ooh. I think he's stretching. Ooh. Are you quite finished? I think so. Room Give you a moment? Now? now? Oh, Joseph, I'm sorry. I don't, mean to, I don't mean to be cranky. It's just I'm so tired. I understand. It's too bad you had to make this trip. But when Rome decides to take a census, they don't exactly ask for permission from the folks in Nazareth. But don't worry, the worst is over. All we have to do now is find a room so you can rest.
Whoa, and one little girl who's in a very big hurry. You okay? So you don't feel like talking, huh? Can you just tell us your name? Maybe we can help. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Come here. You gotta quit running off like that. I really worry about you. Hi, I'm Joseph, and this is my wife, Mary. My name's Uzziah, and... And everyone around here calls me Uzi. And this is my little sister, Elizabeth. We were just trying to find out what her name was, but she wouldn't talk to us. Well, she doesn't talk. At least, she hasn't in a long time. Elizabeth, what a pretty name. You know what? I have a cousin named Elizabeth. She's very special, and I'm sure you are too. Hey, by the way, you have any idea where we might be able to find a room tonight? Room? Yes, a room. And a stable? Take a look around, Mr. Joseph, sir. In case you haven't noticed, there's a census going on. I don't see no room in your future. My advice is to go with Plan B. Plan B? I don't have a Plan B. No Plan B, huh? OK, look, it's probably not going to work, but you, can, but you can try Rosenthal's Inn. It's right over there. Ask for Saul. Tell him Uzi sent you. No guarantees, but it might just work. Thanks, Uzi. Hey, don't thank me yet. You haven't met Saul. Or his wife. What do you think he meant by that, Joseph? I don't know. We're about to find out. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? I'm looking for Saul. Saul, answer the door! Saul, can you hear me? Saul! Yet yeah, my peach, is that you that is singing in those lovely bell-like tones? Yeah, yeah, Saul, so that's me. Now would you answer the door? Ants on the floor? But I just swept the floor, my little dove. So, answer the door. Yetta, hold that thought about the ants on the floor. Right now, there's someone at the door. Oy vey. Oy vey. Hello, I'm Joseph, and this is Mary, my wife. We're in town because of the census. She's a princess? Oh, you should meet my wife, Yetta. Such a princess. No, she's not a princess. Look, 
Uzi sent us over here. We need a room. Do you have a room? Yes. Yes, I have a broom. You want a broom? Here, I'll get you my broom. Wait, we don't want a broom. You don't? No, we want a room. Room. A room? Well, why didn't you say so, Sonny? We've got rooms. See the sign? Rosenthal's in? Of course we got rooms. Except we don't have any rooms. What? You see, there's this census going on, and everybody has to be registered, and there's all these people, and I just don't have any more rooms. Saul, please. My wife is going to have a baby. Rabies? Why, I wouldn't let you stay in my inn if I did have a room. Saul, a baby. My wife is going to have a baby. Oh, a baby. How nice. You know, you should find a room. She looks tired. I give up. Say, is that your donkey? Yes. I do have a stable ride over there. You're welcome to board him for the night. Great. And what about us? Well, you're welcome to board there too. Good night. Yetta, my little pomegranate. I just met the nicest couple. His wife is a pregnant princess. Oy vey. The dirt they call the floor. La 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 la. Got no window, got no door. La 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 la. Dirt the floor. La 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 la. Let us move the donkey's manger. La 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 la. Hee ha. Lend a hand, don't be a stranger. La 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 la. Hee ha. Carefully we're passing it. La 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 la. Through the roof I see the skies. If it rains, we'll make mud pies. There's no bed nor any table. fun and exhausting. We can't thank you enough for your help. Hey, no problemo, remember? Besides, we know what it's like to be out on the streets. You better sit down and rest for a while. Yeah, you shouldn't want to have that baby in here. Elizabeth and I will feed your donkey, then we'll be on our way. The rest of you guys, meet us in front of Rosenthal's. You know, Mary, I just keep thinking that this is wrong. What if you did have the baby tonight? Can you imagine the son of Almighty God, our Messiah, being born in a stable with stinky animals? Stinky animals? Why? Oh, this is exactly our picture either. But then again, I never thought that God would choose me to carry his son or Jesus to raise him. Look at us. We're not royalty, yet he reached down and made us part of his divine plan. You know, 
If you have the baby tonight, it actually does make sense. He'll be king, not just for the rich, but for the poor too, and everyone in between. Uh, excuse me, we're finished up in here, and we're about to head out. By the way, we couldn't help overhearing, you know, about the king and all, and well, it sure would be nice. Why don't you stay and talk a while? Maybe later, the others are waiting for us, goodbye. Goodbye, Uzi and Elizabeth, God be with you. Just as the prophet Isaiah foretold, the virgin will be with the child and will give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. to Lily, and earlier today it was Elizabeth, wasn't it? Well... That's what I thought. When are you going to learn like, that friends like Elizabeth mean trouble? Do you realize how close we all came to get kicked out of Bethlehem by Uzi and the rest of his gang? Shepherds don't hang out with city kids. But Elizabeth isn't like them. She's nice. We have fun together. I'm telling you, Jesse, stay away from Elizabeth. You're just going to end up getting hurt. It would take a miracle for things to change between people like Uzi and us. That's the real world, Jess. Well, I don't like the real world. I like Lily and Elizabeth. I think someone needs to come along and change the real world. And Joshua agrees with me too. 
Don't you, Josh? What? You know what Jesse said about the real world, someone changing it? Oh, yeah, that. See, it got me thinking about this one uncle of mine. Let's see, what was his name? Uncle Eamon, or Haman, Shaman, something like that. He had a belly as big as Bethlehem, and his eyes were sort of close together. If you look directly into them, you start seeing double. Josh, is there a point here somewhere? A point? Oh, why, of course is a point. Let's see. My uncle, belly, eyes, seeing double. Josh! Oh, now I remember. He used to tell me about the Messiah. I've heard about the Messiah. They call him the Savior. He's going to be our king someday. That will change things, Jesse. I wish he'd come tonight. Come the long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free from our fears and sins release us. Let us find our rest in thee. Is your strength? Dark. That means you too, Jesse. I'm coming. Please, Mr. Messiah, I need you. will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. We watch. 
This is amazing, right here in this stable. This is amazing, right here in this stable. Everything is just like the angel told us. I never thought he would really come. And if he did, I wonder if he cared about people like us. See, Elizabeth, just like I told ya, I'd like you to meet our king, the Messiah. Jesse, what have you done? It's okay. She's welcome too. Hello, Elizabeth. This is my son, Jesus. Thank you. 
Elizabeth, you can talk? I can talk. I'm talking. I gotta tell Uzi. Come on, Jesse. Ruth, everybody, let's go tell him. Oh, wait a minute. We can't do that. Why not? Because, um, we're shepherds. What makes you think Uzi will listen to us? I listened to Jesse, didn't I? Yeah, but that's different. It doesn't have to be, Ruth. If God can send angels to tell us about the Messiah's birth, then just maybe he wants us to tell other people too. Remember, peace on earth? I don't know about you, but we're ready for a little peace around here. Your sister makes a lot of sense, Ruth. I'd listen to her if I were you. Well, I guess we're going to keep him waiting. Let's go. Uh, Ruth, looks like the wedding's over. Here comes Uzi now. Feeling a little brave tonight, aren't you, Ruth? Actually, no, I'm not. Something happened. Elizabeth, wants Elizabeth what does she have to do with this? If she's hurt in any way, I'll... Wait a minute, Uzi, I'm fine. Elizabeth, you're talking? I know, I finally have something I want to say. That was Ruth was trying to tell you. Remember Mary and Joseph in the stable? Well, it happened, Uzi. The Messiah was born. The Messiah was born? How can you be sure? Because there are angels. A lot of angels. And they talked to the shepherds. Boy, did they ever. And they told them about the baby and the manger and, well, just listen for once. Yeah. 
his husband. Isn't it wonderful to see them all getting along? And that music, it was simply heavenly. I think we can be certain that mankind will never be the same. God is fulfilling his promises through his son. We rejoice as we see his young, one, young ones embracing the truth. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare in prayer. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Joy, joy, joy. Joy, joy, joy. He rules the world with truth and grace And makes the nations prove The glories of His righteousness And wonders of His love And wonders of His love And wonders, wonders of His love And wonders, wonders of His love The Lord is come. Joy to the world. Joy, joy, joy. The Lord is come. Joy, joy, joy. Joy to the world. Joy, joy, joy. The Lord is come. Joy, joy, joy. Joy to the world. Joy to the world. Joy to the world. Joy to the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 We're just so, I'm just proud of these kids, and I'm sure you are too, and um, I'm just grateful for them. I'm grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for our God, and this time of year, we can kind of focus on him and have some fun, sing some songs, make a little comedy too, without being too, I don't know, too, too, we didn't go too far, I hope. So um, anyway, uh, just so proud of you guys. We're going to have them stay here for a little bit, so if you want to come up and take some pictures or something. Um, even though they want to run off and eat. So we have refreshments for you. Um, we're going to have, we're going to pray and then, uh, and we'll, we'll, pastor has an announcement and then he's going to pray to close us up. I want to thank you guys for being here. It's so cool to see all the support coming to support these kids and everything they do. Um, thanks to our school for all the work that the teachers and the assistants do to make this a reality. I want to, um, and make a special invitation to all of you here. Um, some of you are familiar with uh, this TV show called The Chosen that has been um, going on. It's a, it's a show about the life of Jesus through the eyes of those that he chose. And so um, we have gained access to the Kukui Grove Cinema that has been shut down for a while. We are opening it this Saturday and Sunday, um, Saturday night, 6, um, and at 6 and at 8, and Sunday at 1, to show you a special Christmas episode of The Chosen along with some musical uh, Christmas musical performances. So we have some of these flyers in the back. We might have them out there too. But if you want to come uh, this weekend, so this Saturday, December 18th and December 19th, 6 and 8 p.m. Saturday night, 1 p.m. Sunday, you can come and watch um, uh, some really cool Christmas musical performances and a retelling of the Christmas story, probably unlike you've ever seen. And so... 
And by the way, it is sponsored by the church, so it is free. So uh, feel free to come. Um, I believe you get what you pay for. And so uh, please come out. We will be, be there, and we will love to fellowship with you there. So without further ado, I know these kids are hungry, and they want to take pi pictures with all of you too. Let's bow our heads, and let's pray. Father God, I want to thank you so much for this school. I want to thank you for the leaders and the teachers here. I want to thank you for these friends of mine, all these students that have put in so much work to tell your story. Jesus, I want to thank you that you are the reason that we can come together as family. Father, may we never lose the true meaning of Christmas, that it is the gift of your son to give us life and to give us fellowship with you and with one another, that we may all be family. Thank you, Father, for this gift. We pray in the name of your son and for his sake. Amen.